practice. Let's start with A and work through them. Create your own code to solve this puzzle. I have one block on my screen. I can use up to 24. I really like this because I'm going to start with no loops. I'm just going to start throwing code down. Move forward once, move forward twice will get me to the edge at least, right? And now what I would turn right. Okay, and then I'm going to move forward one, two, three, four. And again, this isn't all. I need to get this stuff still, but I'm just kind of getting an idea of what it looks like. And then I would turn right again. Okay. Now let's step up. I need to get nectar here. So actions, one step, get nectar. Now if I step again, it looks like I'd need to make honey. Make honey. Then what? Turn right. Okay, so that looks good. Turn right. And then I move forward once, twice, and then I'll be on the flower. So what would I do? I need to get nectar once, twice. Then what? I'll move forward twice and I'll be on the honey. So I need to... Okay, then what? I'll move forward three times, it looks like, after I turn right. And get nectar three times. I'm just going to keep going here. So that should get me to here if we're doing this right. Yep, and then what? Move forward once, twice, three times, and make honey three times. I hope you're yelling at me. Because this is not a good way to do it. Okay, I'm at 27 blocks. My goodness. So, let's look for patterns here. Every time I turn right, I'm going to a new side. So I'm suspicious starting at a turn right. Turn right here. And then turn right. So I broke them underneath the turn rights. Now, let's see. Move forward, get nectar. Two move forwards, two get nectars. Move forward, two move forward, let's make honey, two make honeys. Turn right, yep. And notice one move forward, two move forward, three move forward. One get nectar, two get nectar, three get nectar, right? So this is really good chance to use loops. So I'm going to head over here and do repeat one times. And we want to use a loop with a variable, right? So repeat one time, repeat one time, repeat one time, repeat one time. The reason is, is, well, look at this. Move forward, get nectar, move forward, make honey. The only thing not in a loop would be turn right. And I can use this for my loops. Move forward, get nectar, move forward. Cool. And I can drop that here. So that is good, but this will only get us through one side thus far. So what if I want to get to all three sides? Well, then I would need another loop, right? And if I want that, let's do a, how about repeat three times? Three sides, three times. Oh, we had an extra one of those. Great. And now this is all going to work, but it's still, we're not changing anything. We're only doing it one time, right? We're going once, and then we're going to have a problem, because all of these only happen one time. We get back around. That's a problem. This is where we want a variable. Let's set counter to 1 at first, just like we have it here, because that first row is 1. Except now we need counter. And now, each time we go around, right, each time we go around, we want to increase by 1. So let's at the very bottom, before we go back around, we'd want to increase to two and then to three, change counter by one. This all looks good. Let's try. Victory! Now give the challenge a try. Oh, so this looks pretty similar again. So I'm going to, nope, I'll start with, let's see. It looks like I'll need to move forward. And then how many times am I going to want to collect? Looks like a three times. Okay. Now what? Then what? All right. So let me go through what I've just done here. I've split it up some. So first I move forward. Boom. And now what? Three times over, I got to collect nectar. One, two, three. That's repeated. Then it drops below and I'm going to turn right. Move forward. Then what? Three times over, I'm making honey. Drops below and I'll turn left. Now what? Well, I got to go forward two. One and two. Now, boom, 
I'm going to get the nectar not once, but twice, because these are all twos now. Then what do I do? I turn right. I two times move forward. I make honey. I turn again. Now let's take a look at something, though. Right here, where I turn left. Boom. Look at this. I start by moving forward. I start by moving forward. I then repeat three times over. I get nectar. I then repeat twice, get nectar. I then turn right. I then turn right. I then move forward. I then move forward. I then make honey. I then make honey. Then I turn left. So I know right away these actions are repeatable and could use variables. So to do that, let's go ahead and make a function. I'll call mine get everything. So instead of using these, let me throw this in here. And what would I have this start with? Because the first one, it's kind of hard because I'm going to need it to move one, right? But collect three. So we have a few options here. Let me say, I'll keep with their name for gather. Gather, and then let me set it to... I can set it to one, I could set it to three. So either are correct. I'll, I'll have this at one to sh start. Once it's at one, what do I need to do? Well, I need to move forward. Let me actually get rid of this stuff though, because we're going to use my function. Get everything. Okay. So gather, move forward. How many times? Well, that's going to be my variable. That should be set to gather times, right? Now what? Repeat two times, get nectar. There's a few ways you could do this, honestly. You could try using two variables. However, you might run out of blocks then. So instead, what I'm going to try to do is some math here. I'm going to say repeat gather plus two. But wait a minute, that works right here. But then we're going to have an issue. And that's because each time we run through this, we need gather to get updated to the correct number. The first run through, collecting three nectar is great. But then when we get to the second run through, we need to collect two nectar. We can't add to gather to get two. Hmm. Well, if gather's one to start, gather's, and it needs to be three for collection, then when gather's two, it needs to be two for collection, but then when gathers three, it needs to be one for collection. Hmm. Okay, well, what if we do a minus? What minus one would give me three? Four. What minus, when we update gather to two for this round, what minus two would give me two? Well, four minus two. What minus two, what minus three, when three is updated, right here, would give me one, well, four. So it sounds like, boom. Now that would keep us up to date each time. I would still move forward gather times because that's going to match up with our variable. But for the collection, the collection needs to be, I think, four minus what my gather is. All right. And then this is only going to do one side. So maybe I should have, uh, I could call this get row again. I could say get stare. I'm going to still say get everything, but I'm going to need to loop this to get all of the sides. Three times, set everything, and I need to update gather because if I'm using gather to move forward each time, well, each time my step needs to increase by one. So like we've done before, woo, this one's fun. Gather is going to be equal to... Each time we run through this, gather has to be equal to gather plus one. Boom. Now, that's correct. I want to go through this whole thing because it's super complicated, but it's really important. So let me hit step. What I just did is I started this, right? What happened? I said gather to zero, and it says repeat three times. Do what? We'll get everything. The computer's going to then look for my function. Smack. And it says, oh, I got to run this. Repeat what? Gather times. Move forward. Well, what's gather equal to? Gather means one right here. Okay. So one time I'll move forward. Let me hit step again. Quapow. 
drop below this repeat. 4 minus gather. What's gather? 1. So 3 times do get nectar. Now I'm going to get nectar 3 times, which is perfect. That's how much nectar there is. This doesn't change how much gather is equal to. Only if we set it does it change. Now I'm going to turn right. Now I'm going to repeat gather time. So once I'll move forward. Then what? Okay, repeat 4 minus gather. What's gather still? Gather would still be 1. So I do make honey. How many times? 4 minus 1 is 3. Now what? I turn left. And then I'm going to go back to where I called the function here and drop below. That would make gather then equal to whatever gather used to be equal to plus 1. Well, gather used to be 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So gather's new value, we just set it to 2. We hit the bottom of this function, looped back to the top, and it says, let's get everything. Smack. Now we're going to move forward once, and then again, twice. Then we're going to drop below, repeat 4 minus gather. Gather is now equal to 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Once, twice. Now we're going to drop below and turn right. Drop in here. We're going to move gather times, which is 2. Now we're going to go ahead and hit this repeat, 4 minus gather. Gather is equal to 2, so 4 minus 2 is 2. I'll make 2 honey. Then I'm going to turn left, hit the bottom of this, go back to where gather was. We're going to, once we do that, gather is now equal to what it used to be equal to. It used to be equal to 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, so now gather is 3. Hit the bottom, and we got to repeat this one more time. Gather is equal to 3 now, so we'll move forward 3. 3 minus 4 minus 3 is 1, so we'll get 1 nectar. We'll turn right. We'll move forward 3. And then we'll make one honey, we'll turn left, and we did it. Onward. All right, let's see what we got here. So they start us with one, then three, then five, then seven. So I'm going to start with a variable. And I guess since there's a one here, I'll set it up oh, math equal to one. Now, how many times do I move forward? Hmm, let's see here. It looks like two, but ooh. Why don't we use wall path ahead this time? Because notice it's at the edges each time. I want to use that. So as long as there's path ahead, I'm going to say you keep walking. Then what? Well, once we there's no path ahead, well, we would be here. And I would want to gather. I would want to get all of the or make all of the honey so what can i do i can loop how many times gather times because gather is currently equal to one make honey now what well i'm going to need to turn and look we turn each time so that's good this can all go into a loop it seems right then i need to move forward wait a minute though nope they're all right next to each other perfect move forward then what well, I need to loop how many times? Gather times, which would be equal to one at first and get the nectar. Okay, that's a good start, but wait a minute. How am I going to get all the way up here? Well, why don't I loop again while there's path head? Because now as long as there's path head, I'll move forward until I get to this edge again. Then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to need to loop, repeat, Except gather is not going to be equal to the right amount now. We need gather to be equal to gather plus two each time, right? So after we get all the nectar, we could set it. Set gather right there equal to gather plus two. And then we'll move forward. How many times do we gather times? We're going to what? We're going to... Well, look. Look what I'm doing here. I'm about to start repeating myself. And that's not something we should do. So, what's next? Turn right. What's next? Move forward. So let me get rid of that. Not only get rid of that. Let me grab this guy. Let's put all of this in a function. Collect items. Something like that. Boom. Boom. Now, let me go ahead and loop how many once, twice, three times, four times. I'm going to run this function. 
And each time I do, I need to, after I run it, like we have been doing, I need to say, okay, run it, collect all this stuff, gather starts at one. After you collect all that stuff though, before you go over here, I'm gonna say gather is equal to gather plus two. So gather would then be three, then three plus two is five, then seven. Awesome.